you. Well, first, I think we have to thank the, the event for teeing up this topic uh, yesterday for us very well. Uh, because some of the themes that we talked about were, were really um, inspiring for the conversation that happened in the breakout, particularly around issues of scale, openness, transparency, flexibility. And those um, helped us realize that what we were dealing with in our breakout uh, wasn't so much uh, a challenge, but a tool to, to address the challenges. Um, it took us down to two different paths. One was really about the challenge of big data itself and the kinds of things that we might be able to do to address some of those challenges uh, in the use of big data. And the second was about the challenges that could be tackled um, by or through the analysis of and mashing up of, of big data. Um, we came up with a number of different concepts, uh, things that we needed to look at from how to, to um, gather, acquire data more effectively. Uh, we talked about issues around um, uh, standards and formats around uh, analytics, but there are two projects kind of came out of the discussion that I wanted to highlight today. One was really about how do we aggregate all these sources of data? The question that seemed to come up again and again was, so we know the data is out there somewhere, where is it? And so there was this concept of creating a, a kind of catalog, uh, maybe even a kind of Wikipedia of a crowdsourced directory of many of these data sources that are publicly available um, as a project that was, was doable and tackled, that can be, could be tackled in this time frame between now and Rio. The second, and this came back to uh, the discussions around transparency and openness, was really how do we create policy for the ethical access and use of data? Um, and uh, I love the, the phrase that came out of the, this work group, which was, how do we create sort of a Hippocratic oath uh, a, a, around big data and data access, ensuring that uh, there is uh, access for all, that data remains transparent, and, and above all, that with these large collection sets, we do no harm. Uh, and so developing a, a kind of ethics policy that uh, organizations, uh, the NGOs and governments could sign on to was another, we thought, uh, doable project in this time frame. We then looked at a number of big challenges uh, that we thought might be addressed by the analysis uh, and use of, of big data data sets. Um, and these were, uh, one gentleman was pointing out the, the coming cholera ec epidemic in Haiti and the fact that if in two months we could use data to identify these points of outbreak that in fact we could, we could um, stem this, this outbreak from, from happening. Um, and he pointed out here, and I thought this was interesting, that there are many of the, the mechanisms for collecting data using S SMS messages and this sort of thing had been done, had been used very successfully or had been uh, gathered very successfully uh, since the, the earthquake in Haiti, but that what was missing was a response mechanism. And so uh, there's a, a detailed plan, and I hope we'll be posting our notes around how we could create response mechanisms so that the collection of data actually is encouraged. It's not about just sending data into a, a black hole and nothing ever happens, but rather that there are response systems to come back to that. Another problem that we talked about were these issues of, of global landfills, um, and not just the the landfills themselves and the pollution caused there, but the need to recycle, and also the, the, the lives uh, and impacting the lives of people who are making their, their living uh, as trash pickers um, in some of these uh, impoverished areas. And that's a big problem to solve, but one of the, and we recognize that there's a limited amount of time between now and the Rio event, but one, so the target was not to try to solve the whole thing, but at least to let's just first recognize find, identify the locations of these um, illegal landfills using um, various geospatial data um, to, uh, to identify the points of the problem that then allow us to go on to some of the next steps in resolving some of the challenges there. So we had some very exciting discussions. We talked about sustainable fishing and how do you mash up, for example, um, fishing databases out of a place like Monterey's aquarium uh, with Yelp consumer data, data to uh, identify and, and educate about best practices in sustainable fishing, uh, what were the, the, the right kinds of fish to be eating in restaurants, things of that sort, 
talked about uh, this, these kinds of things in terms of greenhouse gas and, I th and, and the like. And then finally, and I think this is an important one, however we, we frame it for this discussion around big data or for this conference or for Rio as a whole, but is how do we start to really fill the gap between what we've all talked about uh, in these breakouts, in these, these, uh, the unconference today, across the sessions yesterday, and what we actually do. Um, there are a lot of, of big goals and big ideas that have been placed on the table, and I think it's incumbent upon us all now to think about how we move from those big ideas to big actions to try to really make some positive change. Thanks. <laughs>